How's it going, everybody? Thanks for tuning in to NC Vapor, Doug and Donna, Mr. and Miss Vapors, or asshole, as some might want to call me sometimes. <laughs> Let me have a drink. Wash my palate here. Cleanse my tongue. Wet my whistle. Wet the wit. No, that's no, no. Wet the willy. No, that's not, no, that's something else. Okay. All right. Um. <clears throat> Clearing my throat. <laughs> Let's have a vape. I'm just in a damn skippity dippity hot damn mood today. Woo! Hell yeah! This damn thing kicks ass. I'm gonna tell you, I love it. I love it. I love it. Rocking my Helios on here today. Um, took my Stellar off of there where I've been. Burning up another e juice on there, and uh, got my fresh cotton in there. So I've been rocking one flavor on this, and I have just been enjoying it, enjoying it, enjoying it. But um, let me start this off as always. Um, I just want to thank everybody for tuning in, and <clears throat> my long timers, my short timers, my ones in the middle. You're all loved and appreciated the same. Um, thanks for sharing the channel. Liking, commenting, and putting up with my crazy ass, as I always say. Because um, you never know what I want to come up with or what I'm going to do or say sometimes. Um, and I appreciate it. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. It is very deeply appreciated. Um, with all that being said, um, I hope some of my peeps out there heard the vape train coming through. Uh, especially JT and Cooter. <laughs> I love screwing with y'all. I hope that train came through and aggravated the hell out of you today. Cootie, you're still my bitch. But I love you, brother. Stud muffin bitch. Yeah, stud muffin bitch. <laughs> oh, Lord. All righty, enough of that. All right. Um, we here today. I want to touch back again on um, an awesome vape shop. Uh, some of y'all, I just call them vape shops. Um, a lot of y'all like to call them brick and mortars. Uh I guess that's just a term that come along. I really don't get it, but I get it, but I don't get it. But why can't we just call them vape shops? Um, but Electra Vapor, awesome place, awesome place. They got a kick-ass online uh, store along with their sh with their shops. And um, I want to touch back base on them again today and um, talk about a couple more e-juice flavors um, that, that they got going with a new e-juice line. Um, that they came out with called a a licious, um, like delicious. A licious is damn delicious. Um, it's a new premium e juice line they came out with. They uh, got their peeps together and did their things and worked their magic with their little monkeys behind the iron curtains. And um, everything is done inside the United States of America. God bless the USA. And um, it's just good stuff I'm going to tell you um, but they sell their bottles they're all 15 milliliter bottles they've got everything rocking on, on, on these bottles that you can ask for I went over it some in my last uh, video on them um, everything is on these bottles that you want um, the only thing that's not on them was their PG VG mix or VG PG mix or PG VG mix whatever way you want to say it um, and I was pretty damn close because I said I thought it would look to be around like maybe a 50-50, but then I said maybe 60-40. And shout outs to the Big Tim, um, one of the main people uh, with Electra Vapor. He uh, let me know in a comment in that section for me. He helped me out and let me know that their, that their line is running in a 65-35 VG-PG uh, blend. So I was damn close. I'm just trying to eyeball it and look at it. Um, either way it goes, it's damn good stuff, I want to tell you. Um, and the prices, you can't beat. Um, you know, compared to uh, paying, damn, $12.95 to $15 or whatever for a lot of your good premium e-juices you pay out there, um, these don't cost that much. I'll get into price in a little bit. I want to think they're around $9.99 or something like that. Well, I'll tell you what, I'll go ahead and look real quick. I'm going to have a vape. Do, 
it. Do, 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 do. Yep, nine ninety nine. How about that shit? I thought I had it right, but I wanted to make sure I told you correctly. Um, this is one of the newest ones they came out with. They did have one, two, three, four, five. There was seven of them, and then it came out with Granny's Apples last. Um, and I'm going to tell you what, I like this one. It's really damn good. Um, that's what I'm rocking in here. And um, I've been working <laughs> on this one today. Um, and it's just damn good. It's just yummy damn good. Um, <coughs> I'm going to tell you what, that other one I really, really loved was that yummy licious. Um, for some reason, I can't want to say blueberry Kool-Aid. Uh, not blueberry Kool-Aid. You know, it's blue raspberry Kool-Aid. Um, and with the blue uh, raspberry, you know, the cotton candy. Um in the vanilla in it. Um, I didn't really touch base on the honey badger, as they call it, um, that was in that description. I weren't really touching on that, but then again, I've never really heard of honey badger. Maybe I'm sounding stupid now, but um, I think of when you say honey badger, I just think of honey, but I weren't really hitting on a honey. Um, but I was damn sure, I mean, that's a, just a rocking. It just takes me back to my Kool Aid days um, and cotton candy. And it was just rocking. That was some good stuff, man. Bottles gone. Y'all need to send me another one. <laughs> um, now, this one here is called Granny's Apples. And um, awesome, 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 awesome vapor production. And um, I, it's this isn't it's as their description of it went. I do believe was let me see here. I'm gonna tell you what I'm getting. Um, it's not like fresh apples and fresh strawberries, but it's not candy. You know, like candy apples and, and candy tasting strawberries. It's kind of the mid range, you know, like how grandma would make to me uh, what it is. It's kind of like, you know, like the old, uh, some people will call them turnovers or tarts. Um, it's got a sugared, buttery sugared uh, taste in there that really sweetens them up. Um, and you get the apples and the strawberries and that buttery sugar sweetness. Um, you know, and I'm just touching a, 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 a tad hint of like a, a, you know, and that could be in with the buttery sugared, um, uh, with like a crust, um, is what I'm looking for there. Um, <clears throat> but the main, the, the, the main part of it to me is just the apples and the strawberries is just blending together with that just creamy, sugary sweetness um, of like just biting down on one of grandma's uh, tarts uh, kind of the things uh, Miss Vapes was explaining it to me earlier we were talking about it uh, not necessarily like a turnover but some of the ones where it's just a little bit of the crust and you got you know it's just like the strips of, of the, what the hell am I looking pastry. for? Pastry. Pastry. Yeah the strips of it wrapped around it not necessarily fully enclosed um, is kind of you know like what I was looking for. Thank you. You're welcome. Um, people, I can't I can't tell you enough. It's damn good. If you like apples and strawberries, um, you're gonna love this. Um, it's just really really delicious. Um, yeah, I'm probably gonna sit here and suck this bottle down too. So, uh, beside yummy delicious, um, I need another Granny's apples too, Tim. Um, it's just damn good. Uh, woo. Mm. Let me go ahead and sit this down or I'll be talking about this and rambling on and rambling on and rambling on. You won't be able to get off of it because I'm going to tell you what, it's addictive. It's just so damn good. Um, I'll go ahead and read there. i got my cheat notes over here. Um, well, I've got their page open up here, so I'm talking about my cheat notes. Um, let me scroll down through here real quick and I'll give you what they're and it's pretty close to pretty basically like what I told you um, Granny's Apples um, 
Granny's Apples is a premium e-liquid made by Alicious. The flavor is uh, apple and strawberry pastry flavor. Uh, that tastes just like Granny used to make that creates for a combined flavor that is amazing and delicious. Um, and it really is. It is just really, really good. Um, I've seen something earlier the other day, too, that... Um, Oh, here it is. I want to read this too because it's, you know, how, how you'll get some e juices sometimes. I'm sorry, I'm going to drag this out. Um, but you get some e juices sometimes that you, you'll see the little warning on there um, about peanut allergies and things like that. Um, Alicious is a new premium e liquid company that has just hit the market. They will be one of the top premium e liquids on the market and at the best price. They got a kick ass price, $9.99. Um, Alicious e-liquid is made from kosher ingredients and nicotine. Also, the glycerin is made from Malaysian palm, so peanut allergies are not an issue. All of our flavoring is gross approved, specifically designed for inhalation. They use, they use only levatory, if I'm saying that correctly, I hope. If not, I'm sorry. Nicotine in these formulas and sourced from only the best in the world. All of the formulas are on file with the FDA, which is required in the new FDA regulations and that crap that's going on. So kudos to them. They're on the damn ball. They got their little monkeys <coughs> in the road doing their job. Hell yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Um, and they, like I said, they got it going on with the bottles. Everything on there that you could ask, except for the PGVG thing, um, hell, they don't have enough they might can squeeze it in somewhere, but all the other information and everything that I showed you that last time, and then I love it because it comes with a tamper-proof seal and safety cap and our kick-ass little needle plastic drip tips that we love so much and want everybody to use. Gotta love it. Gotta love it. Okay. All right. The next one is Royal Licious. Let me get back. To it. Let me go ahead and get it on here. Royal Licious, Royal Licious, Royal Licious. Royal Licious just sounds delicious, don't it? This is another, ooh, that was a little sweet too. Delayed reaction. It was. <laughs> because this has got... Smells good. This would be one of some of your, your, your menthol people would like because it's got, um, like I was talking about, the ones I was hitting on the other day that had just a tad of a just a tad of a cool hit to it. This has got just a little bit more of a cool hit um, to it than the others. Um, so your menthol people would really, really love this. Um, and it, it is fruit flavored is a uh, pomegranate it's um and, and that's what this one is it, it, it's a juicy sweet pomegranate with a cool hint to it um and well now i'm not gonna say cool hint i'm gonna say cool cool hit not hint but hit um it really smells good the vapor smells good and i mean you get that cool hit when you're uh, inhaling it in too And there's that damn little sweet hit again, right there at the damn end. Um, damn, that's a delayed reaction. I like that. Um, it just kind of helps finish it off um, because, you, like I said, you get that coolness when you're inhaling this in because this has got a cool hit to it. Um, so you get that little bit of that cool throat hit um, that some people like um, <clears throat> on their vapors. Um, all these are in uh, no, these are in six milligram too. Um, so that you know, um, in case I wanted to do the dripping with them, um, it is just a really well balanced, not overly sweet. It's just right, but then right there at the end, you get like a damn little sweet kiss right there at the end. Um, that's just kick ass. I love that. Royal Licious. And Royal Licious is a uh, pomegranate and menthol mixture. 
um, is what their description <laughs> on that is. Um, and that's pretty good. It really is. Um, so if you like pomegranate, like I said, it's it's not overly sweet. It's just right, but then you get that little sweet kiss right there at the end. I mean, that just come out of nowhere. Um, and I like that. That's, that's different. Um, third one I'm looking at here is Pomalicious. I like the, some of the names they got rolling on these things. Well, some of them kind of sound a little the same, but they're different. Um, they, it's it's kind of different and unique. Um, but leave it to Electro Vapor because I'm going to tell you what, they are different and unique. Um, because to me, they stand out alone um, um, from a lot of vape shops I've ever been into. And, and we've we've stopped at a few here in Fayetteville. And um, I really won't, you know, unless I actually got to, um, I really won't do any business with any other shops except for Electro Vapor. And I don't want to try to sound like I'm being biased. Um, but a lot of the other shops around here, um, they've really only got one other main competitor around here. And there's like three or four other little small shops. Um, and I say small, they're small, they don't have much, and what they do is overpriced. Um, so that's why I say I would never really use them unless it was just an emergency and I had to. Um, their other main competitor, um, yeah, I, I've gotten a little bit of stuff from them. That's where I started. Um, and if I have to, I'll go there. Um, I'll definitely get some stuff from them online sometimes, maybe. Um, but if I have my, my, my choice, I'm going to electric vapor because um, it's not always uh, about this being a dollar, two dollars more, five dollars more here or there. If you're talking about a device or a, a 50 cent, 75 cent, a dollar more for a tank here than you might say there. Um, to me, uh, their atmosphere, their customer service, and just the people they have working with them, to me, make the biggest difference in the world. And to me, that deserves the money um, and, and deserves the business. And, and that's just the way I look at it. This is, it's not juicy fruity, um, where, you know, it's going to be like running down the side of your mouth. Um, at times, I love fruit vapes that way, um, but at other times, um, to me, when you start getting a combination of different fruits in there, um, that can get overwhelming and it kind of takes away from it. I don't like it. Um, they have got a really nice combined um, mix of fruits in this pomegranate. Pomegranate, apples, and um, I'm getting the pomegranate apples and, and, and uh, there is a slight hint of pear. Um, I'm not a real big pear person. I never really eat pears a whole <coughs> lot. Um, so, I mean, but to me, it's not really hitting real hard. Um, so I could say, hey, you know, yeah, I would sit here and vape on this on and off through the day. Wouldn't necessarily be an all day vape because. I tend to go to the sweeter things, but I could sit around and vape on this off and on through the day um, because that pear is not kind of ruining it for me. Um, because the, 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 to me, I mean, it's just a, a very, very, very slight hint. Now, somebody else might pick up on it a little bit more, um, but I'm not really picking up on it that hard. Um, I am getting more of the pomegranate and the apples uh, in this, and it's almost to the point of fresh fruit, but not, it's not like just real fresh juicy fruit 
um, but it is in no way candied in any fashion at all. It is just a, a nice little blend uh, together there. It's like a fruit tray. Yeah, like a fruit tray. A fresh, there you fruit, go. A fresh fruit yeah. tray where you just pick it up and eat it. And they have done an awesome job of just blending them together. It just really, really goes together good. This is damn good. Here, you get on that a little bit while I'm going to try to touch base on this real quick. I was telling you all the other day, um, I was thinking seven, eight stores, somewhere in there. Um, if you look on their website, they, they actually say like nine stores. Um, Tim, if you're out there listening, I know you're probably going to watch this. For some reason or another, I wanted to think y'all had a store in Myrtle Beach. I'm guessing I'm wrong. Let me know. Um, maybe I heard wrong one time or something. Um, but they have several stores in Wilmington. Um, they have a couple stores in Jacksonville. <coughs> um, they have a couple stores... The, they are growing because it actually says nine locations on, on the top of their website. But if you look at their locations, they they are actually up to 12, um, I do believe. They've got two here in Fayetteville um, that I believe they've got like one, two, three, four. They got like five or six in Wilmington. Um, they have got uh, one on Western Boulevard in Jacksonville, North Carolina. Uh, another one on Richlands Highway in Jacksonville, North Carolina. Um, one on Piney Green Road in Jacksonville, North Carolina. Uh, and then they've got one uh, in Rocky Point, North Carolina. Um, and I think they are uh, talking about opening more um, in the near future. Um, so keep a watch out for that because um, uh, I want to try to keep up with them and if they do one year anniversary uh, here at one of their stores in Fayetteville I'm going to kind of try to go there and get a little bit of footage and uh, you know talk to a couple of the people and, and let you have a sneak peek at the shop um, and if they do a grand opening for a, a new store here around in Fayetteville or something um, I'm definitely going to try to go to that and get a little footage of the grand opening and the festivities that they might have going on there or whatever. And um, I think that would be awesome deal to do too. Um, I just can't say enough about them. I mean, I just really like the store. And like I said, uh, my opinion is still honest. Uh, I am always going to be honest with y'all out there um, because I want you coming back and, and continuing to watch <clears throat> and not think that I'm blowing smoke up your ass or, you know, lying to you because I'm not. Um, I come from the heart and, and all honesty with everything I'm going to tell you. Um, if something's not for me, it's not for me, and I'll let you know that. Um, if and, and like I said, I have really been lucky enough that I really haven't had any e-juices that I would just sit there and say, oh, damn, hell no, that shit's nasty. Um, you know, I really haven't had that. Um, I, I've just had some flavors on some things, you know, here or there that, you know, no, they're not for me, but they don't, they don't taste bad. Um, to where I don't think somebody else might would like them. So, you know, in, in aspects of that, I'm not going to sit there just because I don't like it and, and jump down on it. Oh, that's nasty shit. Oh, I wouldn't buy this. Oh, no, no, no. I'm not like that. And I'm not going to never, never do anything like that. Oh, okay. Um, one last flavor I'm going to talk on. Um, I did do one of their other ones where I broke a little bit of presidents because, like I said, I don't really mess with the tobacco flavors much um, but I want to touch base here they have got um, two different tobacco ones in this alicious line um, the other one was got my cheat notes wrote down here um, true delicious which was was a the one that's supposed to be like the the halo uh, one of the halo e juices is a, a graham cracker and tobacco flavor, and it is a very light hint of tobacco. I actually really liked that one. It was pretty good. Um, and this one here is called Turk Alicious, and it is and it is a light, uh, a light sweet and light nutty um, Turkish tobacco. Um, it's not overly sweet and not overly nutty. From a couple of the people I've talked to. Um, <coughs> And it smells pretty damn good. 
um, because I hadn't opened it and steeped it. I was trying to make up my mind which one I was going to go with, um, and I went with the other one. Um, but it does smell good, and from the few people I've talked to that have tried it, um, they have said that it is not overly sweet, not overly nutty. It's just got a good combination. And um, I try to take people for their word till you lie to me. You know, screw me once and you won't do it again. Um, so uh, if you like a good Turkish tobacco that's a little bit sweet, a little bit nutty, Turkalicious is what you're looking for. Um, now, their Turkalicious bottle and their True Malicious bottles are in a more clear plastic with the white lids um, and they look like they're smaller okay but they are bigger around so you're still getting 15 milliliters here okay people all right 9.99 for 15 milliliters of some good premium e-juice you can't beat that it sounds great great price and it is honestly in my opinion a great e-juice and I would recommend them NC Vaping gives them two thumbs up Okay, I gotta have me some more Granny's apple. This shit is good. Look at that vapor production. That is, oh god, that's just that's, 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 so damn yummy. I just love it. All right, everybody. Um, I appreciate it. That ain't too bad. Cramming in four e juices in 26 minutes or something here. And uh, rambling on and talking like I have. Um, I'll put a link below to their website um, so you can check them out online. And um, don't know if it'll help you in any way. Um, but if you go to order anything from them, hey, do me a favor and just let them know. You know, the NC Vaping sent you. Um, you know, just to give them a heads up help. You know, NC Vaping sent me. You know, told me about you, whatever you want to put in there. Um, don't know that it'll help get you any kind of discount or anything because I hadn't really talked to them about that. So I don't know that it will. Um, maybe in the future, maybe I can talk to them and maybe we can work something out and get a little special going for a little time period or something. I'll have to talk to them see what I can work out for y'all. Um, as good of people as what they are, they might work something out. I don't know. Um, but I think they might. But like I said, in anything, if you order something from them now, at least do it for my, my part um, to say thank you and just say NC Vaping sent me. And, um, and then always look online for coupon codes uh, like you do all the other places because they might have some sitting out there. All right. So uh, let's have a vape. <coughs> and um, till next time. Vape on. Uh -huh. Catch you later.